Is PLA with a Pet G core better than regular PLA? I really wanted to know the answer, so I did a lot of prints, and I think we're gonna need the Roctopus to help figure this one out. All nine of these filaments are from Strong Hero 3D and they all have a black Pet G core. Now, they have a bunch of different types. There are silks, mattes, glitters, gradients, and translucents. So really, what's the advantage of Pet G? Or is it a disadvantage? There's a lot of conversation around these filaments and there are really three points to consider. First, do you get a different visual look from the core of PET-G? Second, does that core of PET-G make the filament stronger than PLA alone? And third, does the PLA having a PET-G core have an adhesion issue and make it weaker? So let's look into each. To evaluate the visual component, I printed thin models and thick models, vase mode models, smooth models, smooth models, fuzzy models, and in a lot of cases, I just didn't see much. Now, some of the time you would get this, what I'm gonna call just this micro striations. And so you see very different colors coming quite quickly. And that's something that was pretty nice. Now, this is a gradient filament. And sometimes you would get to see what does look like this angle angular discoloration, which looked pretty neat. But most of the time, you really didn't see much of that at all. So for instance, this one just looks like a very dark purple and whether there's any black or purple in here, it's hard to tell. For vase mode models, even vase mode models that were complicated and I thought had definitely a lot of angles in them, I just am not seeing any hint of the black. So what you are getting, however, is you're getting a darker filament. And this is one of my favorite filaments lately. So this is the translucent purple and it has this green glitter to it. And depending on the light, you get this gorgeous purple and the green glitter. There is no black that I can see even looking through it in the light, but it is a beautiful filament. Now, is that any different than having a co-extrusion or just having black in it to begin with, that I'm not sure. So I'm not sold on the fact that this angular discoloration really gets you much with the right model. It might, but for the most part, I'm not thinking it adds too terribly much. On the visual appearance front, another thing I'm noticing is that for silk filaments, and I'm gonna use this as an example, this is a golden fire. It's been around for a while. This is the original PLA. It's a orange, gold, red, and this is the one with black core of pet G. And what's happening is it's actually really changing the color. So I'm seeing here this red orange, but here we're just sort of seeing a darkening of the filament, which is fine if that's the effect you're looking for, but you're not really gonna get the same look that you would get as it looks on the spool. Something to keep in mind with the silks. As far as the core of pet G, the silks are my least favorite because I think it really changes the appearance and I'm not sure it uh, adds any real benefit. So that leads us to two. Is it stronger? The strength and the weakness are two sides of the same coin. One is the filament blending together and are we getting the strength of the PET G with the PLA or is it not combining? And I said in a recent video that it was sort of merging. Well, the filament itself isn't merging. I'm gonna send you to a CNC kitchen video that shows you how that the filament for co-extrusion and tri-extrusion as it went through the nozzle, it's coming out in the same orientation and that's true for this filament as well. It goes in with the core of pet g and it comes out and is actually laid down in the model with that same core of pet g so are we getting the strength of the pet g and then are we not getting the strength because it's not bonding so this is the filament before it's gone through the extruder this is what it looks like afterwards and it still has that core which is just an interesting phenomenon. It's odd that you can see it as the extrusion comes out, but once it mashes it into a layer like this brim here, it pretty much is hard to see. So is it stronger? I have three models that all use the black core of PET-G from Strong Hero 3D and a similar analog from Strong Hero 3D that did not. So for instance, I have their Mirror Chrome Chameleon and the new one with black core of PET-G and I have their Golden Fire that's an orange gold red and then I have a vase in a cement and a rock filament. So is it stronger with 
Pet G is a core. Let's break these guys. For PLA, let's see what the layer adhesion is like. Okay, I can break it. It sort of tore. Let's see what the layer adhesion is like on this prime tower. Oh, that is so much easier. Okay, so the layer adhesion definitely is less with the Core Pet G model. But is it stronger? So are these little... I hate to break his little toes. I'm sorry, Dwayne. All right. Okay. Here's the PLA version. Let's see. Around the studio. All right. It has a snap when it breaks. It holds and gives. And this, yeah, this is pretty... This is, uh, I would have to agree, the layer adhesion on the Pet G is not the same. It does not have the same strength. And this right here, the PLA with the Pet G core, that is just coming apart much more easily than the PLA. Um, yeah, and it's actually not even coming apart. If you can see here, you can see that it's not coming apart on the layer lines. It's actually shearing. So that goes to strength for PLA over Pet G. It, it's still pretty strong. It's not tremendously weak because, yeah, okay. It's not dramatically weak. I would say I would not have a problem giving this as a toy to a child that wasn't going to bash it. Um, but yeah, there is definitely a difference. So now we get to the next part. This is PLA with Pet G and this is just PLA. Now I drop a lot of vases. I'm pretty clumsy and they break at different points. A Pet G vase usually does not break because it has some flexibility. So we're going to see how they fare. Oh, I am not surprised at all that that happened to the PLA vase. And I'm not surprised that the one with Pet G remained intact because Pet G has more of a flexibility to it. You know what your soda bottles are like, right? They have that squeeze and give. That's PET and Pet G has that same level of flexibility. So while it might not have some of the strength here, it does have some added benefits. So those are two, depends on what you might want to be using this for. I hate destroying models, but I really wanted to learn more about this potential strength and weakness with the core of Pet G and also so that we know more as consumers when making a decision on what we want to buy from Filament. In conclusion, are these great? Is this something you want to buy? Well, a lot of this boils down and what you're looking for in colors and what functionality you need out of your filaments. The good news is the price point is similar to other filaments in their class. Now, I personally like some of these and not so much others. I love this shadow purple with the green glitter. Oh, in the sunlight, it's beautiful. And I love this burnt titanium blue, purple, black. And uh, here's another one with it. And this is from 3D Print Bunny. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there with her string art. In any case, they are fun filaments. I love them as I do pretty much all filament. So check it out and happy printing guys.